Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now today it's about the latest tech once again since we have the ASUS ROG Phone 2 here with me with its bright and shiny new Snapdragon 855 Plus processing chip. Now this is supposed to deliver 4% increase in CPU and 15% increase in GPU over the original Snapdragon 855 chipset and I'm really interested to see if that packs out. Now it also comes paired with a 120Hz refresh rate panel which is really awesome to see and we have this awesome X enable X mode which is kind of like high performance mode for it which kind of overclocks the CPU and GPU and we're going to open and 2.2 version 8 straight through there version 8 is quite different guys I must say the scores do come out a little bit higher at the end even though the test seems to be a little bit more heavy and we have the Nubia Red Magic 3 which also comes paired with 8 gigs of RAM though this has the original Snapdragon 855 processing chip in it and not the 855 plus this is also a gaming phone like the Asus and though the Asus does have liquid cooling this comes paired with an active air fan as well which is really cool to see and we also have this game space mode in it with a flick of a switch so we can jump into Antutu straight through it but before we do that let's just check some settings through the actual game space settings we do have rapid cooling coming through the fan on max and we also do have 90 fps because this does enable a 90 hertz refresh rate panel too but then asus is slightly higher at 120 nevertheless we'll boot up and tutu through there as well as you guys can see at the top it is also version 8 the vivo iq neo iq is known as a gaming centric phone and the original iQ comes with a Snapdragon 855 processing chip, but the newer brother, the iQ Neo, which is very cheap, at just $260 around about, comes with a Snapdragon 845 chipset, the best flagship chipset of last year. We also have an Ultra Game Mode here, so we're going to open up and Antutu straight through that, and I'm really interested to see how 6 gigs of RAM and last year's flagship chipset do against the ROG Phone 2 with that monster Snapdragon 855 chipset. Both the phones on the right also come paired with 60Hz panels. The Lenovo does have what they advertise as 120Hz, but it is just touch response. It is sampling rate, so it is still limited to 60Hz screen over there. This cost pretty much the same as the Vivo IQ Neo at around $260. And yes, it does come paired with the latest mid-range chipset, the Snapdragon 730. I still think that the last year's flagship chipset, the Snapdragon 845, does perform better overall. Nevertheless, it's an awesome phone and we have paired gaming mode on here. These are all monster phones to say the least. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go. Okay guys, so I pretty much started them at the same time. I accidentally clicked the Lenovo Z6 a little bit quick over there. Uh, this is indeed running at 600% the speed of the original benchmark. Not to say that the benchmark test is faster. I've sped the video up over here so that you guys don't have to sit here all day. And I'm not going to necessarily be speaking about the actual benchmark. Though you guys can see that in the beginning over there, it was the same with the little alien guy over there. But at the end here, well, in the middle, we actually have the terracotta soldiers from China, which is really awesome to see since I've actually seen these guys here in Xi'an, which is a district here in China. These guys look really cool on screen and I was really excited to see them as soon as I saw them pop up on the benchmark. Nevertheless, they do seem like a little bit graphics heavy for the Lenovo Z6 and if you guys saw it at normal speed, you would have seen how much it struggled though you guys will see a little bit later when I drop it to 100% but as of version 8 it seems to be giving the phones a little bit of a higher score so I'll be speaking about how much better each phone is at the end of the test so be sure to stick around for that one guys now keep your eyes on the RAM variants over here guys I don't think that the RAM will make too much of a difference in an Antutu benchmark but the Snapdragon the different Snapdragon chipsets will certainly make a difference here now I have enabled the speeds at 100% here now because we are testing out fluidity so I want you guys to check that out firsthand. As you guys can see that 120Hz refresh rate on the Asus ROG Phone 2 is ridiculously smooth and as soon as you see it compared to the iQ Neo you can see that the iQ Neo is slightly laggy. Now I must say that we did have a little bit of flickering with the Asus ROG Phone 2 in the video it is not like that in person it is because of that high refresh rate panel guys. Then we do have the Nubia Red Magic 3 going at 90Hz over there and it seems to be doing pretty good. I will soon be bringing up a benchmark test on these guys with a certain amount of games, all the gaming phones as I do have the Black Shark 2 Pro now as well guys and I will be testing them through the likes of PUBG and Fortnite and check all those FPSs out so stay tuned for that one too. As you guys could see the fluidity on 100% of the Z6 it was definitely lagging a little bit there and we're almost done with the test here at 600% you can see that the Asus ROG Phone 2 finished first, the Neo finished quicker than the Red Magic though it didn't get a high score. So in first place we did have the Asus ROG Phone 2 and guys the score is ridiculous 488,000 points 
points have you ever ever guys have you ever but just remember this is a version 8 of the Antutu benchmark run so it is a little bit higher I think we would be hitting around 410,000 on the version 7 and then in second place we have the Nubia Red Magic 3 guys this performed 380 390,000 in my previous test on Antutu version 7 so version 8 definitely given a bit of a bump here but as you guys can see it is 10.2 percent slower I've done the math here to the exact percentage over here then the Snapdragon 855 plus chipset and even though these phones are the same price, you are definitely getting a better Snapdragon chipset with the Asus ROG Phone 2. Then in third place, we have 27.5% slower than the Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset with the iQ Neo. But remember guys, this phone is almost half the price of the Asus ROG Phone 2, so it does a pretty good job, especially with last year's flagship chip. Then the Lenovo Z6 has a Snapdragon 730 chipset in. This is almost 50% slower than the latest and greatest Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset, but the iQ Neo still trashes the Lenovo Z6 when it comes to points over there. Now checking out some temps over here, the Asus ROG Phone 2 only has liquid cooling in it and it is sitting just one degree hotter than the Nubia Red Magic 3 and yes people say that it is on a flat surface the Red Magic 3 but guys the back of the phone is angled so it can still suck air in and blow it out and I have seen very similar results with it in my hand regardless because your hands do get pretty hot too. Now, the coolest phone that we had there was the Z6, and in the CPU department here, guys, you can see that the temps are a little bit lower on the Asus ROG Phone 2, Red Magic 3, and the iQ Neo, but we'll take a look at that Z6 there, guys. In the CPU front, this is what really matters. That Snapdragon 730 is heating up between 55 degrees and 70 odd degrees, sitting at a medium of 63. That is insane, guys. I can't believe it. I was really impressed with all of these phones, and I must say that I'm really enjoying gaming devices. I never thought that I would as much, but anyway, guys, these are all incredible phones and no matter which one you pick up there will be monsters in the gaming department and until next time guys this is Technic <laughs>